Next test, esterification test. So this we have already done in the case of alcohol. And now we are doing again in the case of acid. Kindly follow. Here, I told you that itself, there are two ways we can do the esterification. If the alcohol is aliphatic, you use aromatic. If the acid is aliphatic, use aromatic alcohol. Okay? So, in this case, now let me take example. Alcohols react with aromatic carboxylic acid in presence of consulfuric acid to form a stuff with smell of fruity order. Fruity order. This is the general reaction. ROH, R-O-H, gives R-C-O-O or H2O. Kindly follow. Now, so here, I am giving a taking example of methyl alcohol, benzoic acid gives methyl benzoate. Kindly follow. Methyl benzoate. If I use ethyl alcohol, if I use ethyl alcohol, again benzoic acid, What will happen? Ethyl benzoate will be formed. Ethyl benzoate will form. So, what is the actually we have to do now? Take one ml of alcohol, take a little pinch of acid and suitably dissolve in ether, add into that, or even alcohol you can, that is the, uh, 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 um, that if it's solid acid, aromatic acid, dissolved in ether and mix. Then, add just one drop of sulfuric acid and heat in the water bath for 15 to 30 minutes. Or you can directly heat if you want, just one minute. When the bubble comes, add one drop into your enamel beaker containing water. Then neutralize with ammonium hydroxide and smell it. You will get a fruity order, so the, the presence of acid grow. Presence of acid group. This is the next esterification case for the correspondingly acetic acid. What I am taking now? I am taking that. Can you follow the uh, the, uh, the corresponding alcohol? Can you follow? And I am using an acid. Benzoic acid, I am using. Benzoic acid is solid, so I should dissolve in this. So better I will add this alcohol itself into the same test tube, it will be soluble, water soluble. Sorry, alcohol soluble. Any organic compound, freely soluble in ether as well as in alcohol. Now, what I have to do now? Can you follow? So what we have to do now? After adding this, just add one drop of consulfuric acid, then we have to heat in a flame. We have to heat in the flame. Please, I am going to heat and then I will add. So, coming for acidification test, what I did here, huh? listen, me, I have taken the correspondingly acetic acid and benzoic acid. I have taken together. Acetic acid and uh, correspondingly benzyl alcohol I have added. So two ways we can do now. One is we can do, suppose you want to do the aliphatic acid, use aromatic alcohol for esterifications or if you want to do esterification for aromatic acid, use aliphatic alcohol. Okay? So in this case, I have taken benzoic acid. So I have taken now ethyl alcohol. Can you follow? So, this, after adding one drop of sulfuric acid, I will heat strongly, then I will add into a bigger containing water, neutralize, then I will smell, the smell of fruity order shows the formation of the ester, which is the confirmatory test for carboxylic acid. Okay. The next test for alcohol is, Action of metallic sodium. It is a very, very 
simple reaction. Normally, sodium is preserved in kerosene. If you keep in open temperature, it will burn. The general reaction is ROH plus Na gives RONA plus half hydrogen. Suppose if specifically, if you take alcohol, a specific alcohol, I can write now the equation. Suppose ethyl alcohol, if you take ethyl alcohol, and if you add metallic sodium, one drop, sorry, a little pinch, the small dry piece, immediately you get a brisk effervescence and forming sodium ethoxide. Sodium ethoxide and hydrogen gas will be liberated. The liberation of hydrogen gas, we are seeing it as brisk effervescence. Kindly follow. We are seeing it as brisk effervescence shows the presence of alcoholic group. Please follow. This is the second test for alcohol. Thank you. Now, the second test for alcohol, I am going to try now. Just see, I am taking a test tube, I am adding ethyl alcohol from the bottle, that is the plastic tip, 1 ml. So, 1 ml I am adding. So, what is the test for here? It is a test for metallic sodium. Any acidic hydrogen, if it is present, it will give brisk effervescence. Brisk effervescence it will give. Now, I am adding a little pinch of a piece of metallic sodium, normally preserved with uh, kerosene, uh, because it is highly reactive. Then, it, uh, we have to dry in a filter paper, and I have to add it to this. So when I am adding, so what you can see immediately, you, you can see the effervescence. Can you follow? See the effervescence? You are coming? Can you see the effervescence? Please follow. It is coming now. The effervescence, it is coming. So in the case of aromatic acid, effervescence is low. Suppose if it is a mineral acid, the effervescence is high. My dear students, the next test is test for phenol. The functional group is phenolic group, OH group attached to benzene ring. The test is neutral perichlorate test. Normally, I can give a list for this. Students, you must understand. Phenol will give violet color. Kataka, 1, 2, that is benzene, 1, 2 diol, green color. 1, 3, resorcinol, blue color. 1, 4, quinol, no color. Then pyrogalol, that is trihydroxy, blue color. Hydroxyquinol, no color. Fluoroclicinol, pink color. The information I want to convey here is all phenol will not give same color. But as per our CBC syllabus, only phenol and the salicylic acid will give violet color. The, the reaction it is due to neutral ferric chloride with the phenol. So we are getting ferric phenolate which is responsible for violet color. Okay? Test for neutral perichloride, for phenol. For phenol, if you add the neutral perichloride, it will give a violet color. It will give. So, see the reaction here. It is due to the ferric uh, violet complex we are getting. 